these beautiful nori wraps. Um, seaweed is such an amazing thing. So this is the nori. Actually, how they make this is they take nori, then they blend it in a machine until it's like wet, and then they pour it on a dehydrator. And so this isn't like, you don't get this in the ocean, right? It's blended and re uh, dehydrated. So it all went back together again. Uh, so we're going to put shiny side down. Uh, actually, if you could get just a small, just fill us up with water, that would be great. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna put our pate on about a third, sorry, two thirds of, or three quarters of the nori. Um, so we can choose whichever pate we want. This is the Save the Sea pate. So we just kind of spread it out. Some will be easier to spread and some won't, but that's fine. We don't want it too thick. Another one under the spoon is good. Yeah. I'm looking at, I've been looking at all these cooking shows and they never talk about the health benefits of the food. It drives me crazy. So carrots are good for your eyes, mm -hmm. full of all kinds of you know, vitamins and minerals. And then we've got sour and lemon, which is alkaline and can go on forever. Um, all right, so we're gonna put a few peppers, kinds of things. Uh, what I like to do is I also like to just stick a little bit on the end. Mm -hmm. So when you cut it, it's really pretty at the end. And, and the health benefits of the seaweed? Oh. Uh, complete protein, full of antioxidants, minerals, more vitamin C than oranges. It just goes on and on and on. It's pretty much, a, you should have it every day. Um, Asian cultures do eat seaweed every day. We're gonna add fresh sprouts, and this is a mix of lentil, alfalfa, and clover sprouts. So if you notice what I'm doing, what I'm doing is I'm putting, I'm putting all the vegetables in the middle of the pate, right? Not in the middle of the nori sheet. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take, I'm kind of using my thumbs. I'm gonna take my thumbs on the underside and I'm going to hold the middle down. I'm gonna flip it over top of the, over top of the cast and then I'm gonna pull back. You do not need a, one of those little bamboo mats. Ugh, it's a waste of money, I think. Mm -hmm. Pull it back so you're tightening it, right? You want that roll to be nice and tight. Roll it super tight. And then what we wanna do is take a bit of water Place it on there so the end sticks. Okay, and then we got. Now, if you're like me, you just it. eat it like yeah. that. Yeah, that's it. Just send those to work. Yeah. Holy cow. They're yeah. Like if you're a hit in the office. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we're gonna take our it's awesome cutting knife. Perfect lunch. <laughs> and uh, this is actually why it's really important to have sharp knives for this. What we want to do is just slice it. We want to slice back and forth. If we just push, it'll squish the nori. We don't want to squish it. You just want to slice it back and forth. Now each nori should yield eight, eight pieces. So actually, each of us should be able to get eat one piece of each, each one. Garnish it, but what's really amazing is we're gonna. Set